21. Do you want to go or don't you? You know he ain't gonna let us go, he's a cop. It's the Bay City Rollers playing, he'll understand. Behold the sound of my voice, and get down on thy knees. Cause you're wicked and evil, and don't I know. I'll show thee the light, just reach out thy hand. I'll reach out my fist, Loomis. It's Reverend Loomis now. <laughs> The divine order of holiness church ordained as minister? How much they soak you for this thing? Just a little token of faith. Three bucks plus postage. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Fish. Welcome home. I know where I am. Hey, brother. Let go of that Burton. Lay it on, Brother Lewis. What? I'm running a special on a confession. I don't want to hear any. <laughs> hey, what are we having for dinner? A recipe from the New York Times. Mm. Hey, uh, how long does it take Sergeant Fish to warm up? Oh, you got him all wrong. Nah, uh, he just don't like me. Of course he likes you. Could have fooled me. That's exactly what he's trying to do. He just doesn't want anybody to know what a big softy he is. <laughs> Too much salt? Too much. Oh, Phil, I got the whole schedule all worked out. Now, tonight, you do the laundry. I don't do laundry. <laughs> right. We all have our hang-ups. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Fish, I like your TV set, but how do you fix the horizontal? Push the off button. <laughs> well, Mike, uh, tonight you take out the garbage. It's gonna be a lot of it. <laughs> Hello, Phil. Same to you, Benita. Did you take the wrong turn again? Damn car. Get behind the wheel, point it to Brooklyn, you look up. I'm on 39th Street, right in front of the old apartment. I'm trying a recipe from the New York Times, Phil. Tonight, there was a parking spot right in front. Really? Hmm, it was hard to give up that spot. <laughs> I have dishes at home just like that. Those are our dishes, Phil. The movers came today. You're gonna let them eat on our plates? Well, they're our family now, Fish. Did you get the downstairs bathroom fixed? Do you know how hard it is to get a plumber? It can't be as hard as getting into the upstairs bathroom. <laughs> Repent, ye sinner. Would you cool it, man? I'm just gonna drive it around the block. Three bucks for a blessing on those keys, brother. Three bucks, are you crazy? I got it, I got it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You wanna go to heaven, brother? I mean, this isn't it. Thank <laughs> you.
I'm the Reverend yeah. Loomis. Who are you? Go to my car, the green one, and get the Maalox out of the glove compartment. It's in a brown bottle. Brown car, green bottle. No, 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 no. Green car, brown bottle. My keys are in the coat pocket. God loves you. If you loved me, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Mrs. Fish told us that was your chair. And nobody sat in it. All day. How much? <laughs> No, no, I got the money. All you have to do is tell me I can go. Go where? To see the Bay City Rollers. You got the money, you can go. Super, I gotta get online. Come on, Victor, let's go. Come back here. Where are you going with that thing? It's the Bay City Rollers. The box office opens at 9 a.m. They've been lining up all day. But it's 32 degrees outside. I got my bedroll. <laughs> Victor! Yeah, I seen them on the news tonight with their bedrolls and their thermos bottles. Now they were lying in the gutter with battery-operated earmuffs. <laughs> All right, where is it? It's not there, brother. Well, look better. It's a brown bottle. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta see them. They may never be in North America again. You're not gonna spend the night in the gutter. You go during the day. There won't be any tickets left. No. I hate to think Victor's right about you. Victor? Who's Victor? I can't get over how everything blends. The city's furniture and ours. It looks like it was made for each other. I'll be jumping all over it. Charlie's wiping the dishes. Wonderful. It was your turn to wash, so I did them for you. Wonderful. I washed and Charlie wiped. Okay, all left dried and put away. Wonderful. It was your turn to wash, mine to wipe. I guess you don't do dishes either. <laughs> What is it you would like to do? Escape. <laughs> Can't go, right? Panic, Forza. I told you. It's like being in jail here. Even worse. Nothing's worse than jail. At least in jail, we could have maybe got to see Johnny Cat. <laughs> This neighborhood is becoming a snake pit. <laughs> Get me the police department. Phil, what's the matter? Just listen to this, Bernice. This is Sergeant Fish. I want to report a stolen car. A 71 green Chevy, four door, with a brown bottle of Maalox in the glove compartment. <laughs> You know the car was gone. When I couldn't find that brown bottle, I figured there was something wrong. Where are the keys? That's another thing that's missing. Where are my coat pocket? No, he's a little boy. He's a man of the cloth. <laughs> Supposed to be telling the truth. Where's the oldest one? You're the oldest one. What's the oldest one's name? Uh, Mike. He must be around here someplace. There's still three bags of garbage in the kitchen. So the New York Times was wrong. <laughs> Mike went out. When did he go out? Uh, right after Carter and just before what's happening. What's happening? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> what's the matter? That kid stole my car. Phil, don't jump to conclusions. I have to jump. I'm a pedestrian now. <laughs> now, wait a minute. So your car is missing and Mike is gone. That doesn't mean he took it. Whatever happened to American justice? To the ideal that a man is innocent till proven guilty? Don't give me ideals when I have evidence. Turn off the television. The streets of San Francisco. Oh, go to your room and enjoy yourself. Excuse me for living. Hmm. 
You see that? That's exactly the kind of cynicism and despair we're here to combat. What psychological scars will Mike carry the rest of his life because of your suspicion? How will you mark him? Return to sender. <laughs> Does a Sergeant Fish live here? So far. <laughs> you find my car? Yeah, with your kid in it. Okay, McDermott, this is the place. I got an explanation. Hey! Quiet! <laughs> Look, Sergeant, I could have made detectives, but I don't believe in bending the rules. I figured that we have more of an obligation to uphold the law than civilians. Where'd you find them? Queens Boulevard. Doing 40 in a 30. And your rear taillight is out. And ordinarily, we would take him in and book him. But he's the son of a cop. He's not my son. What? You break one rule, you're into a whole tissue of lies. Are you OK? Yeah. They didn't rough me up or anything. I think the son part helped. Where's my car? It's perfectly safe. Nothing's wrong. Except for your rear taillight. <laughs> You pick him up from Higgins at the impound lot. The impound lot? Maybe I'll just run on up to bed. No move. What impound lot? They, they told it to Fresh Meadows, but... We Fresh could... Meadows? But that's an hour and a half from here. If you're gonna let your kid drive your car, he's gotta get a license. He's not my kid. But he does live with us. That was really a good dinner, Mrs. Fish. Knock it off. Let me explain. Please? Okay, I'll give you 30 seconds. Look, all I started to do was to take it around the block. And when I hit 19th Avenue, it was a one way and I couldn't go right. So I kept going. Then I heard this strange sound in the engine. I think it's your gas line. Leave my gas line out of it. I just wanted to make sure your car was all right. So I took it on the Belt Parkway. Got running pretty nice. Before I knew it, I was in Queens. <laughs> so I, I turned around, I got off the parkway, I got a little thirsty. So I went into the drive-in restaurant to get something to drink. You know what? It felt pretty nice. Sitting behind that wheel, everybody thinking it was my car. Everybody looking at me saying, hey, look at that kid in the green Chevy. He must be somebody. Oh, wow. <laughs> Freeze it! <laughs> hey, take him down and book him. Well, you can't do that. Go. Come on, sir. I think you're making a terrible mistake. He stole a car. And he committed perjury about dinner. <laughs> Don't eat it with your fingers. Around here, you could get arrested for that. Oh, Mike. Probably fighting off improper advances by degenerate persons. <laughs> I seen it on the CVS white paper. <laughs> Are you finished, Julie? Yeah, I guess so. You finished, I am? Yeah, I'm finished. You, Loomis? No, I ain't finished. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. I said good morning. Good morning, good morning. Don't shoot. Good morning. You know, there are a lot of people around here who think that Mike was just borrowing that car. He can call you all in as character witnesses at his trial. <laughs> good morning. 
Detective Fish. Get my car back. I gotta take it to Independence. It's up in Fort Street and in and Roosevelt. Here's your breakfast. <laughs> What is it? It's a little burnt, but I have a lot on my mind. What was it? But wondering what kind of breakfast they serve a child in prison. Like this, but not burnt. <laughs> I had a dream last night, Kafkaesque, about a young man in a cold prison cell, grabbing the bars and screaming plaintively, Let me out! Let me out! Then I have to take the flushing line. <laughs> The main street. I'll bet you slept badly last night. I always sleep badly. <laughs> then I gotta take a bus to Fresh Meadow. Phil, I'm sorry. I, I, I have to say this. I think you've overreacted. Would you shoot an ant with an elephant gun? Why not? <laughs> I, I, I think we need to discuss this. You discuss it. I'm going to travel all over the world. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. First Mike, then who? He'll throw us out of here for crossing our eyes wrong. You talked me into this before, and how far did it get us? Perth Amboy! New Jersey, and they drug us back to Children's Center. I was younger then. And even if they don't catch us, how are we going to eat? Don't worry about it. I'm a strong kid. I'll get a job. Be realistic, Roy. It's up for once in your life. Hey, we said we'd stay together no matter what. So stay. I can't live in a holding tank. I'm going over the wall. <laughs> Phil, I think we should talk. Tying my tie. You're not really planning to leave Mike in jail? Look at that. I never had trouble tying my tie in the old apartment. <laughs> These kids have been through so much, they need extra understanding. Mike was just trying to see if we'd still love him after he took the car. I wasn't crazy about him before he took the car. He was just testing us. So he flung. You saw his face. What driving that car meant to him. How sorry he was. Didn't you ever make a mistake? 37 years ago, I made a beaut. <laughs> You see? You test, too. But I understand when you joke about our marriage and my cooking that you don't really mean it. I know that element. The boy's bad news. Wish these kids need us. No one's ever really been there for them before. We can make the difference in their lives. This is the crossroads. That bathroom is the crossroad. <laughs> I spent the whole hour with my analyst on this, Bernice. I, I had so much hope invested in what we could do here. We all have hope, Charlie. It's gonna be fine. No offense, but he doesn't know what he's doing. 
Mr. Fish has spent 38 years on the force in the front lines, Charlie. Not with the books, not in the office, but really out there. And if this is the way he thinks it should be handled, this is the way it should be handled. Even if he's wrong. <laughs> Home again, home again, jiggity, jiggity. Tell that to your analyst. <laughs> Look who's home, everybody. Mr. Fish and Mike. I wasn't surprised. Hey, welcome home, man. Thanks a lot, Charles. You know, I think this has been a learning experience for all of us. Did you learn anything? Gee, I really missed your mic. Let me tell you, it's great to be free again. We'll see about that. I bet everybody's starving. Can we get the salad? Sure. That was some blessing. <laughs> a three dollar bus and only good for around a block. <laughs> Kreuzer, I should have known you'd be back here too. Hey, I had my foot on a freight train headed west. And by now, I could have had a job in an apartment, all lined up. Yeah. Yeah. But I got this picture of you here with nobody here to protect you. So, as soon as you could handle yourself in the clutch, I'm split. It's not going to be as bad as we thought. He got my gout. Yeah? Maybe this time. Oh, that is so nice. I love to see men help in the kitchen, Vicky. That one's Victor. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention. I love you, Phil Fish. Well, you know. <laughs> I'm starved. What's for dinner? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> What are you sneaking around for? I just walked in. Here. Yeah. I'm really sorry about everything that happened with the car. Well, I hope you learned a lesson. Next time you want to borrow something, just ask. Can I borrow your car? No. <laughs> 